Good evening everybody, welcome back to Dwarf Fortress with Timo. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on the beekeeping industry. Uh, so beekeeping is a really simple industry, I recommend that everyone does it. Uh, the only restriction is that you actually need honeybees on your map. It's not something you could bring with you or get, uh, but this map happens to have them. See this little uh, beehive looking thin, if I mouse over it says a colony of honeybees. Uh, there's other types of hives, make sure that it's honeybees and you can start this industry. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and produce yourself some uh, hives. So I'll just make mine out of rock. Rock hives. I'll produce 10 of them. That sounds great. Bump this up a little bit. Um, honey is great. Uh, it'll make both drinks um, and food for you. Um, it, you, you can basically automate it. Your dwarves will take care of everything. Oh, let me start this up. Um, and all you have to do is, is make the hives and build them a certain way so that it, it is automatic. Uh, so the way that the hives work is that you're going you're gonna to build some stone hives and then you're going to install them on the map. So it's kind of like a, a nest box where you got to build the nest box first and then put it on the map. Same type of thing with the hives. Um, once you put the hives out there, they're going to be empty until your dwarves run over and grab one of these honeybee colonies from the map and install it into your hives. Your hives later will be able to get it from themselves as well. I'm just seeing if there's other ones around. Uh, there might be, but I know there's at least this one. We'll see, we'll see how many of the dwarves find after I start installing them. Um, so your dwarves will go and find these, and it's going to be under workshops. I believe it's under farming. Hive. Yep, there it is. This material and let's go ahead and install one out here there we go we got a hive being built and I'll show you what it looks like when it when it comes up uh, wolves. why are my frames low? probably because there's a bunch of stuff running around The uh, graphical frames per second was running low up there. I'm not sure why. It's probably have too many ducks and snails and that kind of stuff running around. That's all that is. It's over this way so the ducks aren't on the map. That might help. All right, well, they're taking their time doing this hive. But uh, while they're doing that, the stuff that you need for the hives is just your simple uh, brewery and kitchen uh, to make drinks and food uh, but that you're you're also going to want to build one more thin which is under the workshops uh, farming you're going to want to make the it's not there it's a screw press maybe it's just a furniture where are you, screw press? Oh, there it is, just screw press. It's just not, it's not under the farming, because it can be used for stuff beyond. So you're going to want to make the screw press as well. So it's a single tile, if you can see here, it's a single, single tile building. I usually put it just right down next to my still or my uh, brewery. Oh, the hive is done, so we'll go back and look at it, and then I'll show you where, to, where I usually install the screw press. So on this new hive, it starts with a couple of check marks already done. So it's installing a colony one ready, and you can see that they actually already installed it, and they probably took that hive that was right near it. Yeah, the hive's gone. That hive that was right near it is gone. And you can see that we've got some honeybees here, 10,000 honeybees in this hive. Um, so this hive is going to produce, and eventually it's going to get some, uh, I think it's called like royal jelly, um, and a honeycomb or something like that will show up here. When that happens, it's ready to be gathered. Um, and as long as you got this check mark coming, your dwarves will come and grab the hive out of it and go and get honey out of it. Um, it they grab both honey and the honeycomb, but it basically destroys the hive. And you're going to have to install a new hive to keep it going. So what I would recommend is that your first couple hives you build you get rid of the gather any products. So you have it install a hive, but then you don't gather any products from it. 
The reason you're doing that is that eventually this colony is going to be ready to be split. When a colony is ready to be split, it means you could take part of the colony and install it into another hive um, and fill it up, but it doesn't destroy the one that's here. So now if I wanted to build, say, multiple of these guys, let's see if we need some more. Some more. And hives. They'll be doing that. So if you're building 10 hives, you could take, say, three of them and uncheck this gather products. Um, or uncheck it so it says do not gather products. It saves the colony for a split. And what that means is that your other seven colonies, when they get big enough to gather, they'll be destroyed. The The building itself wouldn't be destroyed. What I mean is the, the hive within the hive. <laughs> the, the colony within the hive will be destroyed as they gather products. And then it'll be ready for another colony to be installed. And then they'll run over to one of your three colonies that don't have the gather products on, and they'll split it off of there and install the, the new hive. Uh, so this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and leave, the three that I'm gonna put for uh, not gather is gonna be across the top. And these other seven I'll leave with both check marks saying to install colonies when ready and to gather the products when ready. Um, and these, just as a reminder, it, it has it the descriptions right here. So you know, install a colony, colony, it requires a wild colony or an existing hive. The gather products, it destroys your colony. It requires a jug. If you're not building jugs, I usually start those pretty early. Do I have any jugs? Uh, no, I don't have any jugs. Let's go ahead and get rock jugs going. That is one thing that you're going to need to to make these. Uh, some empty rock jugs. Uh, so that looks good. Making some rock jugs. Those will most likely get done before uh, I get any of the colonies done. So they're, they're installing some more. It looks like there was more hives on the map because there's, there's honeybees that had got installed here. Um, there, there might be some more hives on the map. If there's any more honeybee hives on the map, the dwarves will go grab them and install them here. And this hive is actually going to be a while until it's ready to split. So these first few hives are just going to be filled with hives that are coming from the map. So far I found two. If any more around the dwarves will find them all right but while that's going I'm gonna go down to my kitchen I forgot how many levels down I put that uh, this is the same map that I'm using for my minecart tutorials that I've been running so you might see those look familiar kitchen there's the kitchen okay so on my kitchen level is usually where I put my screw press so I just come in here, workshops, and toss a screw press, and I'll just toss in the corner. Is fine. We'll build a screw press right there. And the thing that you're going to want to do is oops, let's do some animant type ballistas. I don't want those. Um, press honey from a honeycomb. So that's that's what you want to do. And usually with this one, I just leave it as a one for one. And I do it whenever a, a honeycomb is ready to go. As long as I have a honeycomb, go ahead and press the honeycomb. You don't get them that often, so that's why I leave it for one for one. It's just you get it when you do it. So when you press, or I guess when you when you gather a hive, you're gonna get the one honey and you're gonna get the honeycomb. If you've got the screw press and you've got this job, they're going to press the honeycombs, and what you're going to get from that is both wax and another honey. So it basically gives you two honey per per beehive instead of one honey per beehive by having the screw press in there. And it's really easy to automate that too. It just took the screw press and that one job being designated. Uh, so back up to the top here. Uh, yeah, I got all my hives done. So across the top, like I said, I'm not going to gather any of these top three ones. So all three of these hives will just grow until they're big enough to be ready to be split. And then these seven, they're going to grow until they're, they're ready to be collected. And then when they get collected, uh, one of these that are ready to split will be pushed down over into it. Um, I don't actually know what the ideal ratio is for how many you want that are just feeders that are just raised to be split and how many you want to be the ones that you gather. 
Um, I usually do roughly half the number, and it, it works all right. Usually I do I do 15 hives, and I'll do five as feeders and 10 as, as actual uh, gather hives. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can put these out here. Obviously, it's not as protected. You can put these inside. I don't know, like, you've got this little outdoor access right here. If you've got it inside, it'll say no outdoor access, and I think it shows yellow or something like that. And I don't know how badly that affects the hive. I do know that honey shows up, the bees show up, they'll, they'll multiply. So I, I do know it all works. I just don't know how much slower it is. And it looks like I've only got a couple of these that actually got bees in it. I've got three, looks like three, three hives with bees. Uh, which means that this one will definitely need to to grow up and split. And if you only if you only start with just a few hives, what you might want to do is just so I've got I think I think it was four hives. Uh, one, two, three. No, it's only the three hives. So what I might want to do is actually uh, change this a little bit. Gather from. The and just these first ones that I, the first three that I have, I'll make those my three that I don't gather. And I'll just start splitting them right away as they get there. So I'll use those three as the feeders, just because it do doesn't look like there was that many hives on the map. Um, so that'll just kickstart that a little bit faster rather than, than waiting for the one uh, feeder to, to fill the rest. All right, I think that's about all to let you know. Just other, other than that is just make sure you keep producing jugs and barrels and, and uh, containers for, for all of this output. Um, you can use the, the, the wax in, uh, in a craft industry as well. I don't usually bother with that, but it is something you can, you can work on as well. Uh, so that's, that's how easy a beekeeping industry is. Let me see if I've uh, made any see if I made any. Uh, no, because I haven't gathered anything yet. I wanted to make anything. Um, so hopefully that helps out. Make sure you do beekeeping. Anytime you see those honeybees, really easy industry, an extra, and it's an extra food source. Dwarves really like that honey. Uh, have a good night, everybody.